What's up y'all? This is Nomad and I'm about to show you how to set up your Pro Tools system where you can still use your MPC and all your sound modules and also use Reason as a sound module controlled by your MPC through WeWire. I know that sounds like a lot but if you looking at this video you already know what it is. So the first thing we have to do is go into our Pro Tools and open up a blank session. Then once we open up that blank session, then we're going to go over to Setup and then to MIDI and Input Devices. And then you have to turn everything off except if you're using the external controller like I'm using my Oxygen 49. Right? So you turn everything off, you just uncheck it, then hit OK. Then you want to uh, check your uh, options and make sure MIDI through is checked. And now we want to set up some tracks. So for tracks, I'm going to open up my create tracks. And then I'm going to create a master track. I'm going to create um, a couple of instrument tracks. I'll start off with MIDI 4. I'll create a MIDI track. That's important. That's for my control to my MPC, then I'm going to create some audio tracks for my MPC and my sound modules. Then I hit OK. OK. The next thing I'll do, I'll go to the instrument tracks I just created, and I'm going to place a Reason plugin on each one. Then I'm going to go to the Reason plugin, and I'm going to assign it to an output. So the first one is Mix LR. OK. Next one I'm going to do Channel 3. 3, 4, you know, then go 5, 6, then channel 7, 8, and you go down the line as many as you need, right? Um, out here at the top of the crossfader, where it shows your instrument section, you don't need to even mess with that right now. You can just leave that blank. So we go to reasons, then we're going to go to preferences, and then in preferences, you're going to go to advanced control. And in advanced control, you see a section that says external control. You have four buses, A, B, C, and D. Here, you want to deselect everything, but in the bus A, you want to put the Digi-03 port 1. That's important. And everything else, you leave it um, blank. Then we flip our, then we go back to our rack, and we see the hardware device. And there's a little button. And it says advanced MIDI control device. We want to click that. And uh, when we click that, it drops down and you see all these little empty slots. And you see the four buses we just saw. So in bus A, you should now see where it said Digi03 port 1. And in the other buses, you should see nothing. Okay, that's good. Now we want to create some instruments. So I'm going to add me an NXT, a subtractor, a redrum, and a mouse door. Okay. Then I'm going to flip my rack over. And then I'm going to wire my sounds into my hardware device. And it's basically at the same channels I put them in reason. So I'm going to put my NXT to 1 and 2. My subtractor, I'm going to put that on 3. My redrum, I'm gonna put it on five and six, and on um, my mouse storm, I'm gonna put it on seven, eight. Then I flip it back over, and I go to the advanced MIDI device, and and then I'm gonna hit the little button, and I'm gonna select the modules I just created. So on one, I'm gonna put in this XT, two, I'm gonna put subtractor, three is red drum, four the mouse storm, right? Now. Just tap and see if everything's working right. I'm gonna go over to my MPC and I'm gonna go to the track that I have set up for, um, you know, controlling the reason as a sound module, and I'm gonna just test it out. So if I go to channel one and tap on the drum pad, I should be able to look over on my best MIDI device and see the little green light up for channel one, and I should hear the sound coming out of my Pro Tools. And then if I go to channel 2, same thing, green light, and um, sound in Pro Tools. Then I'm going to go to channel 3, and I'm playing my redrum, 
with my MPC. And you know, just do a check and I see the lights and the sounds. Everything is hooked up. So basically, I'm pretty much ready to go now. Now the only other thing I want to do is um, instead of having the keyboard plugged into my MPC, I want to use the controller I got in my Pro Tools, which is my Oxygen 49. So then I go to my MIDI track. And then for the I.O. on the MIDI track, I'm going to select Oxygen 49. And then I output it, I'm going to send it to my MPC. Now I got to click on that track to have it highlighted. And once I do that, it plays to the MPC. And I can check that operation out if I just look on my Digio 3. And every time I hit the key on the key, I see the MIDI out light flash. So I know, I know everything is working. Now, just make, I'm gonna make a little, quick little beat that I got, and and I, and I made it, and now you see I can just play it back. And it's playing out the MPC, multi track, on the control tools, and playing the reason. And I can add as many sound models as I want, and I can just do whatever I want. MPC is playing everything. And that's it. It's done. Now, if I wanted to track this, I would do a little something different. And if I wanted to transfer the MIDI tracks, not the audio, but the MIDI tracks from my Akai, my MPC, into Pro Tools, then um, I would have to do a couple of things. I would have to go to setup input devices and turn back on my MPC. Hit OK. Then I would have to go to MIDI through and turn that off because it'll create a feedback loop, loop if I don't. Then I go to my instrument tracks and um, if I look at the top of my instrument tracks there's an input and I select the MPC and the channel for each one that I want. So my um in the next t channel one you know the mouse the um the subtractor channel two and i just go all the all down the line to give them all the channel and i make sure the output is selected on the instrument i want to control and that's it and once i do that if i hit um play and record it will actually pick up the mini tracks on the mpc and send it over and the only thing different with this now, I can't use my keyboard controller to control everything, but I can still use my MPC to control everything like I was before. Mm -hmm.